Alright bro, this one's for you, right? This is to diagnose your check engine light. I don't have a check engine light right now. Well, it's not on when I turn on the car. Let me show you. Okay. Okay. No check engine lights. The car's on, there's no check engine lights, right? Okay, now I'm going to show you how to find the jumper pin, the service pin for, you know, to check your or diagnose your check engine light. Now, it only works when you haven't reset your battery. If you reset your battery, then uh, it resets the ECU and it won't have the, the error code stored inside your, your ECU. But for mine, I get a check engine light every now and then, so mine's automatically stored inside my ECU because I don't go around resetting, you know, the battery. So. On the passenger side, under the glove compartment, the kick panel, look for that plug. It's blue and it has a red wire and uh, looks like a green wire coming out of it, right? Okay, now let me hop onto the other side and I'll show you how to jump it and you can diagnose your check engine light. Okay, here's your plug, you know, the, the lower kick panel, and it's like right inside of there, okay, so you see it has two pins in there, looks like four, but it's just two pins, let me, sh let me, let me jump it real quick and let me show you. Okay, I use a staple because, you know, it's metal and I won't lose it. But uh, people say use a wire. Whatever is metal and has a, that uh, can hold a whole current and stick it in there. And then uh, come back, turn your key to where all the lights come on. I failed. Hold on. Let me try that again. You got to make sure it has to be able to touch both of the metal connectors on each side to jump it, right? Now let's see if I got it right this time. Okay, there you go. Engine light stays on and then it flashes your code. So in this case, a long blink meaning one and then every short blink, you know, you count them. So one long blink and two short blink that equals code 12 and code 12 is EGR so I have an issue with my EGR and whatnot but you know that's how you count your your codes if it's two long blinks then the code is 20 and then whatever how many small blinks after that you know let's say like three blinks then it's code 23 so there you go now you know how to diagnose your your own check engine light and all I have is one code and it's the EGR and it's common, so, yeah.